நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பு எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் இன்னொரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டேமல் வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனோண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி த லிங்க் ஆஃப் த ஒரிஜினல் வெர்ஷன் தட் இஸ் த டேமல் வீடியோ இஸ் கிவன் இன் த டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ This is astrologer Deepa and I'm presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Taurus ascendant and I shared much more intricacies about astrological concepts. In this video I'm going to explain about the effects of the sun in different houses for the native of Gemini ascendant that is mithun lagna when sun resides in the ascendant house itself it does not deliver great benefits you have to make predictions based on which house sun resides that is you have to consider whether sun gains subhatva by residing in a house having said this sun in the ascendant house is not considered to be very auspicious however there will not be much worse effects if sun has to deliver benefits definitely it needs to be subhatva when sun resides in the second house that is in house of cancer it is not considered to be a favorable position sun should not reside in house of wealth or family However, sun residing in its friendly house, the house of moon, which is Cancer. In order to predict the effects of sun in the house of Cancer, you have to identify, first of all, the strength of the moon. If moon is a full moon, let us say, then sun will deliver benefits. When sun is in conjunction with Venus or Jupiter in this house, definitely it will bring water. all the benefits through government benefits through father electrical field in the field of electrical appliances in the domain of power and um, regarding metal uh, copper for example let me say sterlite industry sun gives a lot of self confidence to the native and indeed these are the fields that one can gain profits when sun is subhatva in their natal chart All the employees who works in the sterlite industry will definitely have sun subhatva in their natal chart. These are the fields where the native can gain profits when sun is subhatva in their natal chart. All the employees who work in the sterlite industry will definitely have sun subhatva in their natal chart. Because sterlite company is nothing but a copper production plant. and copper is nothing but the significance of sun therefore the people who work there will definitely have subhatva sun in their natal chart 
and according to the strength of the sun uh, subhatva of the sun and the strength of ascendant lord etc they will work in different ranks in the same company when sun resides in third house which is in its own house it is considered to be very auspicious the third house to the ascendant house is leo which is owned by sun the third house represents writing music fame courage and virility therefore when sun is subhatva it delivers all these qualities and gives a lot of self confidence to the native when sun resides in house of leo it means native is born during avani that is in the month of shravan mid august to mid september and when sun is subhatva it will deliver all the good effects of this particular house that is third house sun is the planet which is very favorable to the native of gemini ascendant because sun is the most friendly planet to mercury which is the ascendant lord having said this when sun resides in the third house in leo in its own house then it delivers a lot of benefits and it is considered to be very good planetary position there is a rule in the original dictum like when a malafic resides in upajaya sthanas such as third house sixth house tenth house or eleventh house it is considered to be very auspicious for native of gemini ascendant this rule perfectly applies therefore when a person is born as native of gemini ascendant that is mithun ascendant and born in the month of avani that is shravan during mid august to september and when ascendant lord is in conjunction with sun in the third house or when sun is in conjunction with jupiter it delivers its benefits through its significance such as government related benefits or benefits from father benefits in the field of electricals power etc the person will have a lot of confidence as well self confidence when sun resides in house of leo for the native of gemini ascendant it aspects the ninth house to the ascendant house which means that native does have a good family background the father and grandfather will definitely have some reputation in the society and the native is likely to get the paternal properties the native might carry on the profession of the father because when son is subhatva it is likely that the native may carry on the profession of the father now let me explain the effect of the son in the fourth house to the ascendant house when sun is in the fourth house it is considered to be auspicious the fourth house to gemini is virgo which is another own house of mercury when sun resides in fourth house to the ascendant house it aspects the 10th house to the ascendant since the fourth house is another house owned by mercury and when sun resides here it is considered to be good therefore when mercury also resides in the same house with exaltation status or when mercury is with own house status then sun in the fourth house will deliver benefits let me explain the effect of sun in the fifth house when sun is in the fifth house that is in libra it gets debilitated however it resides in the house of a benefic therefore it does not deliver such worse effects when sun is in the third house to its own house leo and in house of libra which is the house of subhatva then it will not deliver such worse effects it will definitely deliver certain benefits sun will not do much worse effects provided it is not in connection with saturn or rahu now let me explain the position of sun in scorpio which is the 6th house to the native of gemini ascendant when sun resides in scorpio it does not deliver much worse effects 
In this case, you should not consider that a luminous planet is in 6th house to the ascendant house. When the Lord of 3rd house is in the 6th house, based on its Subhatva, it will deliver certain benefits. This particular planetary position is such a perfect example to explain that Sun will deliver benefits when it resides in Upajayasthana houses such as 3rd house, 6th house, 10th house and 11th house. This is perfect example of such a rule. Sun in the house of Scorpio, whose house lord is Mars, will not deliver much worse effects to the native of Gemini ascendant. What is the reason? When lord of one Upajayasthana resides in another Upajayasthana, it is considered to be good. Therefore, when sun resides alone in the sixth house, it will not deliver such worse effects. Whenever sun is in connection with Saturn or Rahu in whatever house it is, it will deliver worse effects. It will definitely deliver worse effects. When third house lord resides in sixth house and sun is Subhatva as well, then it will deliver very strongly the third house effects such as writing, music, fame and benefits from younger siblings. Now let me explain the next house, Sagittarius. When sun resides in Sagittarius, which is the seventh house to the ascendant house, it is not considered to be auspicious though sun resides in the house of Jupiter. What is the reason? When sun aspects the ascendant house directly, it is not considered to be good. It will not render very bad effects. If Mercury is in conjunction with sun and aspects its own house, it will deliver benefits. In case of Mercury is in conjunction with sun, sun will deliver benefits and it will not deliver worse effects. Now let me explain how the sun will function if it resides in the 8th house to the ascendant house that is Capricorn. When sun resides in the 8th house to the ascendant house, it is not considered to be auspicious at all. Please consider the following points. The Lord of the 3rd house resides in the 6th house to its own house and in the 8th house to the ascendant house. And moreover, it resides in the house of Capricorn. This is the place where the native will lose self-confidence. Did you notice that I have not mentioned that the native will lose self-confidence even when sun is in a debilitated house in 5th house to the ascendant house that is in Libra. But when sun resides in the 8th house to the ascendant house, I spontaneously told that native will lose self-confidence because this is the house where sun will deliver worse effects because this is the house of Saturn whose house lord is a dead enemy to the sun. This is the house of an enemy and a malefic planet. Though sun gets debilitated in house of Libra, yet it becomes Subhatuva when it resides in Libra because it is house of Venus. When sun resides in Capricorn, it is in the 6th house to its own house and in the 8th house to the ascendant house. This bad planetary position can be altered if only Sun gets Subhatva by connection of Jupiter or Venus or waxing moon. No other planets can alter the bad effects of the Sun in Capricorn for the native of Gemini ascendant. This planetary position is not considered to be good and during Dasha of Sun the significance related to son will get spoiled, such as the status of the father, paternal properties, self-confidence, etc. To sum up, when son resides in 8th house to ascendant house and in 6th house to Leo, it is not considered to be good at all. This effect can be altered 
only by Subhatva of Sun. Now let me explain what Sun will deliver when it resides in the ninth house that is in Aquarius. When Sun resides in Aquarius, it means that native is born during Masi that is in the month of Maga mid-February to mid-March. When Sun resides in Aquarius, though it aspects its own house Leo, it is not considered to be good. What is the reason? When Sun resides in ninth house, then it induces Karaho Bhavanasti. Based on Subhatva of Sun, the Karaho Bhavanasti will function. When Sun resides in ninth house in Aquarius, it will not do great benefits, it is not considered to be good. It will deliver only worse effects, in case when it has connection with Saturn or Rahu. When Sun resides in 10th house in Pisces, it delivers immense benefits to native of Gemini Ascendant. Because the Sun gets Digbala here and it also resides in house of Jupiter, by which Sun gains Subhatva. This is the topmost auspicious planetary position for the native of Gemini Ascendant. If the native of Gemini Ascendant undergoes Dasha of Sun, the native is considered to be very, very fortunate. In addition to this planetary position, if Sun has combusted Venus and has got connection of Jupiter, then benefits delivered by Sun during its major planetary period will be immeasurable because this is the house of Jupiter and it has got connection of Venus. Here, when the Ascendant Lord is also strong, then Sun will definitely deliver a lot of benefits through its significance such as leadership qualities etc. I have already mentioned that the significance of Sun, so I don't want to repeat that point again and again here. In case when Sun resides in house of Pisces and if it has combusted Venus or it is in connection with Venus and the person was also born during the full moon that is Panguni Uttiram. In Hindi we say in the month of Falguna in the star of Uttra Falguni mid-March to mid-April then definitely it delivers such a great position to the native. Let me display the natal chart of the ex-Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Edapadi K. Palani Swami. The planetary position of the ex-Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. Edapadi K. Palani Swami. From his natal chart, we can see that he was born during the month of Panguni. In Hindi, we say Falguna, mid-March to mid-April, during full moon and Sun is in conjunction with Venus. He was a minister for 20 to 25 years and he also served as chief minister. As I already said, when Sun becomes Subhatva and when it is connected to 11th house, thus gaining Digbala, it will deliver great benefits through its significance and I have also explained an example chart here. Some might question me as following. Oh, I was born during the month of Panguni, that is in Hindi we say Falguna and full moon. But why I did not enjoy such a position? Cannot lead any organization or a party. Here, you have to consider certain points as well. I'm going to definitely clarify all these doubts in my future videos. Children who were born at the same time on the same day does not lead the same life. Why? There are many factors to consider. In the natal chart of Mr. Idapadi K. Parani Swami, the Ascendant Lord is in its friendly house and it has got very good strength. So he was able to enjoy such a position. Mr. Idapadi K. Parani Swami is native of Taurus Ascendant and Sun had attained Digbala since it resides in 11th house, which is indeed near Digbala, directional strength, and it resides in house of Pisces in conjunction with Venus, 
where the ascendant lord mercury is in its friendly house and sun gets a lot of subatwa i always mentioned that sun will gain strength or that is a directional strength or digbala when it is in ninth house or tenth house or eleventh house i always call it like a belt of houses having said all these for native of gemini ascendant when sun resides in 10th house in conjunction with venus and in addition to this if it is getting aspected by waxing moon and the person is born during month of panguni and uttra nakshatra in hindi we say in the month of falguna and nakshatra of uttra falguni then it brings immense benefits during major planetary period of sun sun will definitely deliver immense benefits through its significance like it will give uh, the position a higher position as a high head in organization post of ceo of an organization or a higher leadership position let me explain the effect of sun in the next house for the native of gemini ascendant that is the 11th house when sun resides in the 11th house in house of aries and gets exalted it is considered to be highly auspicious this is one of the best planetary position for the sun the lord of third house is in the trine house to its own house and it resides in upajaya sthana that is 11th house and it also resides in the friendly house and in addition to this it is exalted consequently this is such a great position for sun for the native of gemini ascendant sun should not definitely be in connection with saturn or rahu here sun in the 11th house which is a upajaya sthana will definitely bring a lot of benefits through its significance to the native of gemini ascendant sun being a malefic which is the lord of the third house is in another neutral house which is the 11th house and it gets tanabala as well because it is exalted here based on this position sun will deliver its benefits through a different way sun needs to have some subatwa here when sun is subatwa then it will deliver benefits in a way that the native cannot express to others his means of income what does it mean his means of income is not a honest one when sun has attained only sthana bala and does not got subatwa then it will bring benefits through a different way and a native cannot express by which means he has earned a lot of money it is a dishonest way having said all these when sun is strong and resides in 11th house to gemini the position is considered to be very good let me explain about the effect of sun in 12th house sun should not be in 12th house to the ascendant house because this is a luminous planet however it resides in the house of venus where it gains subatwa and it is in the 10th house to its own house leo this is not considered to be a very good position because sun is the most friendly planet of mercury and it should reside in the quadrant house or trine house and not in the 12th house to the ascendant house sun will not deliver worse effects however it will not do great benefits because sun is the planet which the ascendant lord treats it as best friend and it should not be in the 12th house to the ascendant house when sun has got subatwa by connection of venus or jupiter it will definitely do certain benefits like it will move the native to a foreign country and it will deliver the house effects of the 12th house and also the 3rd house based on the star lord sun will deliver the effects of 3rd house and 12th house well this is all about effects of sun in different houses for the native of gemini ascendant 
In my next video, I'm going to explain the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Cancer Ascendant and I'm definitely going to share the subtleties of the concepts of astrology. This is question time. The question of this video is, in your opinion, why people born on same day, same time, same place have different standards of life? Please write your answer in the comment section of this video. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box. Write your feedback to astro.writers at gmail.com. If you want to watch all the English videos of our channel, please find the link of the playlist in the description box. Thank you.